Hello students, welcome back. Let's solve the access question number 15 of chapter 12 electricity from class 10 NCRT science textbook. And the question reads, two lamps, one rated 100 watt at 220 volt and the other 60 watt at 220 volt are connected in parallel to electric mains supply. What current is drawn from the line if the supply voltage is 220 volt? All right. So let's understand this question through this circuit diagram. So we should always draw the circuit diagram first because it will help us to understand the question in a better way. So there are two lamps. The power rating of the first bulb is 100 watt and it's operating at 220 volt. The power rating of the second bulb is 60 watt and it's also operating at 220 volt. They are connected in parallel to the electric mains supply whose supply voltage is 220 volt. So the supply voltage here is 220 volt. Now these two bulbs are connected in parallel. Now we have to find out what is the current drawn from the line. That is what is the current flowing through this circuit when these two bulbs are operational. We know that in a parallel circuit, the potential difference across the resistors remains the same. That is if A and B are two points from where these two lines branch out, then the potential difference across A and B would be the same what was the potential difference across the supply line that is the potential difference between A and B would be 220 volt. Now since these two resistors are connected to point A and B so both these bulbs or the resistors they will operate at a voltage of 220 volt. In a parallel circuit remember that the voltage across each resistor remains the same but the current varies across each resistor. Let's say I1 be the current which is flowing through the first lamp and I2 is the current that is flowing through the second lamp. Now current value will differ across each resistor depending on the value of this resistance of the lamp or the resistor. But the total current or the overall current in the circuit will remain the same. The total current in the circuit will be the sum total of the current that is flowing in these two individual resistors or the lamps. So let's find out the current flowing through each of them. Let's find out the value of current I1 that is flowing through the lamp whose power rating is 100 watt and it's operating at 220 volt. So let's write down. So power is given as 100 watt and the potential difference V is 220 volt. Now we know the formula power is equal to voltage multiplied by current. Now here P1 will be V into I1. So I1 will be P1 by V that is P1 is 100 by V is 220. So that gives us 5 by 11. So the current flowing through the first bulb is 5 by 11 ampere. Now similarly let's find out the current flowing through the second lamp. So again P2 is 60 watt and V is 220 volt. So I2 will be P2 by V which is 60 by 220 that is 3 by 11 ampere. So I2 is 3 by 11 ampere. So the total current I will be I1 plus I2 which is 5 by 11 plus 3 by 11 which is 8 by 11, which is 0 0.727. So I is 0 0.73 ampere. So this is your answer. That is the current flowing through the line is 0 0.73 ampere. It will not be a mistake if you write 0 0.72, that will also be correct. So this is the answer to this question. I hope you have understood it. If this video was helpful to you, please do like it, share it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Please watch the playlist containing the solved physics questions and numericals from the previous year's board exams. I have shared the link of the playlist in the description box. It will be very helpful to you while preparing for your exams.